Good morning, Cougars. Please quiet down for morning prayer. This Sunday is Good Shepherd Sunday. On this day, we look to Jesus as the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd takes care of his flock and protects it. He never abandons his sheep, even if they are lost, and he lays down his life for his sheep. We are Jesus' flock of sheep. Jesus says, My sheep hear my voice. Just as real sheep can distinguish the voice of their shepherd and follow him, so must we learn the voice of, listen to the voice of Jesus among many voices around us. Only his voice leads us to heaven. Without a shepherd, we, the sheep, have no defense against the dangers of the world. So this Good Shepherd Sunday, remember that you are part of Jesus' flock and that he will never abandon you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Trust me. Trust me and don't be afraid. Many things feel out of control. Your routines are not running smoothly. You tend to feel more secure when your life is predictable. Let me lead you to the rock that is higher than you and your circumstances. Take refuge in the shelter of my wings, where you are absolutely secure. When you are shaken out of your comfortable routines, grip my hand tightly and look for growth opportunities. Accept the challenge of something new. I lead you from glory to glory, making you fit for my kingdom. Say yes to the ways I work in your life. Trust me and don't be afraid. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Isaiah chapter 12, verse 2. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Faith isn't here today, so here are Andrew and Colby. Good morning, Cougars. Hope you had a wonderful day yesterday. Yes. And today is Scout Day and 6th through 8th grade leadership skills with a guest speaker. And also, since we didn't do our Pledge of Allegiance this morning, we will be doing it outside during Scout Day at the flagpole. Yeah, Scout Day is right after broadcast, so make sure you get out there. Yes. Now we have two special competitions this weekend that the Sam Cougars will be participating in. So the first one is You Be the Chemist, which Grace Funk and Jenna Martinez will be participating in. So let's welcome them. Welcome. Yeah. 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 So where's the competition going to be? It's at the Discovery Science Center. Nice. In Santa Ana. And how many people are competing in this competition? Well, it varies every year, but last year there was around 20 to 30. So we wish you both luck. And Thank you. Yeah. So let's give it up for them. Good luck, guys. And our second. Uh, our, yes. Our second competition is our robotics team, which will be participating at Damien High School this weekend. So let's welcome up the Coding Cougars. Yeah. We got a lot. Here. Are they we got all, a lot. They're all in. Okay. So the competition's at Damien High School, right, guys? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And oh, and um, how many schools will be participating in this? We have no idea. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so, and, uh, uh, what's like your guys' style of like doing robotics? Are you guys working on like robots or like the dash and dots that we were? We're spontaneously coding for this thing to do a bunch of different challenges during the tournament. Uh, okay. So what are you guys coding? Uh, it follows a black line, it goes through a maze, oh, and wow. it does um, a dance competition. Oh, That's nice. Cool. We're kind of doing that in technology, too, Ms. Laporta, aren't we? Ms. Laporta, we got, our, we got yeah. our dashes and dots dancing. That is our challenge. Oh, the robot was on the screen. Yeah. A, it looked pretty cool. It is. So we wish you guys the best of luck. So let's wish them some luck, guys. <laughs> now here's Brianna with your What's Up Weekend. Hey Cougars, because this week's theme is Scouts, I've decided to do my What's Up Weekend based on something that many Scouts do very often, and that's to go camping. This weekend, you can camp at the Newport Dunes RV Resort. If you and your family are more of tent campers, there's also an area that you can tent camp near the beach. Enjoy your stay with the Newport Beach near you so you can jump in the water every day you stay. There's also a playground on the beach, which I think would be really fun. The Newport Beach, the Newport Beach would be really close, and there will be daily activities that will be taking place every day you're there. Here's Genesis with the girls' sports. Track and softball practices will be continuing next week. Here's Kim with the boys' sports. 
Yesterday, the A and B teams both beat OLG. Great job, Cougars. Here's Jacob with the birthdays. Thank you, Kian. I'm here with... Mason. Joseph. Nicole. Jennifer. Let's wish him a happy birthday. So, uh, what do you guys want for your birthday? Um, the mini football players. Mini football players? All right, and uh, what do you want? Money. Laptop. A laptop. And uh, how old are you guys turning? Seven. Eleven. Eight. Eleven. Eleven, all right. And uh, now for the joke of the day. Why the cucumber need an attorney? Why, Why Jacob? Because he was in a bit of a pickle. Get it? Because, like, cucumber pickle, they're both vegetables, and, like, get being in... Being in trouble with the law is considered a pickle. Yeah, well, I mean, my joke shouldn't be up. Uh, I shouldn't have to explain my jokes. But uh, <laughs> here's, Arth, uh, here's Arch and Colby. So the Scouts Day will be, will be starting in just a few minutes. So we have two boys and girls Scouts facts for you. So first, Arthur El El Eldred of Oceanside, New York, earned the first ever Eagle Scout medal and presented to a Boy Scout in the summer of 1911. So that's a long time ago. Yeah. That's, that's like 106 years. years ago. It's a long time. Oh, I'm still trying to process. Yeah, 106. <laughs> it's okay. <I'm> <laughs> and here's a fact for all the Girl Scouts. More than 59 million women in America today enjoyed Girl Scouts during their childhood. And that number keeps on growing as Girl Scouts of the USA continues to inspire, challenge, and empower girls everywhere. So, yeah, yeah 59 million. That's a lot of Girl Scouts. And I know our Sam, our Sam Girl Scouts make a big number of that. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so remember to meet outside at the flagpole right after announcements. So have a great day, Cougars. And when you got faith, got, got mercy. mercy.